Okay, if you watched our video yesterday and you fell into one of the three or maybe all the three categories that keep people broke for two years or more, maybe you're a little ticked off, that's okay if you don't like us. But if you want to make a change, we're gonna go in depth on some of the mindsets that you have to change first before you can take any financial advice. Because if you don't change your beliefs and you don't believe that you can get out of debt or you can get wealthier, then you're never gonna do it. So. Let's get started with number one. The first belief that you need to change is the belief that people who have a million dollars worth of debt have less opportunity than people who have a million dollars worth of cash. You see, oftentimes people who have extraordinary amounts of debt, it's because they use other people's money. They invest in assets that go up in value, which allow them to buy more assets, which allow them to take on more debt and buy more assets and create new opportunities. Okay. Next thing, which ties right into number two, next believe that you got to change is people who have $100,000 worth of cash or less have more opportunity to increase their wealth than people who have $100,000 of debt or less. You see, people who have $100,000 of debt or less, they have access to one of the best ways to get wealthy, which is to not keep getting in debt, which is to pay down your high interest debt, okay? Now, people with a little bit of cash have essentially the exact same opportunity because the first twenty to fifty thousand dollars worth of cash really can't be used to make life-changing amounts of money it's really difficult because most of that money is better used just not getting into debt let me give you an example if you got a thousand dollars in the bank guess what's going to happen the car is going to break down right you're going to get hit with a medical bill maybe your girlfriend gets pregnant your wife gets pregnant right Things go bad when you only have $1,000 in the bank, but when you got 20, 50 grand, something goes bad, life is still smooth, right? You recover from it in a year or less and you're fine, right? So you gotta get past that first $100,000 to really tar start taking some more risky bets with your money, which allow you to double and triple your money into the future. Okay, so last thing that we gotta change is the mindset that you can not be happy without money or the mindset that money makes you happy. You see, neither is true, but neither is also false. You see, you can be happy with money and you can be happy without money. But if you make poor financial decisions over long-term periods of time, like 20, 30, 40, 50 years, you are going to be filled with regret because money does buy opportunities that you wouldn't have without good money management. So, if you want to avoid being poor in two years or three years, make sure you subscribe to this channel. We're going to give you quite a bit of money management tips and just general good financial advice over the years. And so I'd be happy for you to join our community and take one step towards getting a little richer.